Serpent, or Don't Move, Halt Still in German for some unknown German reason, is an 85 minute no budget film set in South Africa about a young couple who decide to go camping for the weekend instead of going to a hotel like normal, civilised, decent people do. They pitch their tent by a waterfall and join me in drifting off to sleep after wondering exactly when the plot was going to show up. And show up it did as this young couple soon find themselves sharing the tent with a Dendropis Polepis or Black Mamba, which, when not taking on the Avengers, is an extremely venomous snake of the family Alipidae and native to parts of sub-Saharan Africa. How venomous, you ask? Well, it's been reported that before anti-venom was widely available, the mortality rate from a bite was a mere 100%. The bite of a Black Mamba can potentially cause collapse in humans within 45 minutes or less, and without effective anti-venom therapy, death typically occurs in 7 to 15 hours. Oh, and it can also move faster than most people can run, slithering up to 12 miles an hour, 19 kilometers. And there's your film. Two people in a tent with a lethal snake trying to work out how to get the snake out without being bitten, which means no big movements, no loud noises, trying to get the damn thing out before the rising heat of the day angers and upsets it, causing it to bite you, and... And... Oh yeah, not having a ton of secrets, which might cause the person you're sharing this extremely enclosed space with to reconsider the whole don't let the snake bite anybody policy that they just decided upon. There are no jump scares, no orchestral stings, just the increasing tension of the situation. It's a realistic horror which could happen to anyone who decides that going camping is a good idea. It's more a psychological film than snakes in a tent, of two people locked in a small space seemingly facing certain death, trying to confess all their secrets whilst distracting certain death with a smartphone. It's more a slow burn as the temperature rises and tempers fray with safety mere centimetres away but so far out of reach it might as well be on the dark side of the moon. And the craziest thing? The budget for this film was so low that they couldn't afford CGI. Always a plus in my book. So instead, they just decided to use an actual black mamba whose mouth was allegedly carefully secured shut because... why not? Sadly though, the film does go silly in the last 10 minutes and manages to deflate quite a lot of the tension that had been coiling around my chest like an ever-squeezing boa constrictor. Up until then, it really had been a masterclass in showing how sharing a small space with a so-called loved one could be the most terrifying and isolating thing in the world, as well as the cost that secrets can have. Naturally, a short film means that the characters don't get much time to develop, the developments they do have are fairly generic, and I wasn't entirely sold on the idea of the two leads as a couple, but beyond that, it's a very tense little film that if it could have stopped its third act going so silly, might be a classic film in the making. As is though, I definitely think you should see it as long as you can handle snakes. But what do you guys think, and what is your favourite movie animal monster? Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, it's been a dunking. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe.